I'm ready. So this is a quick tutorial about how to use chicken thighs to do simulated microsurgery training. Okay, so we've got the chicken thigh, we're gonna prepare it to use it for simulated microsurgery training. And normally the best way to do this is to go to the, um, uh, the inner side of the thigh. And actually, if you look at this chicken thigh, you can even see a vessel poking out from here. So what we need to do is go under the muscle here in the middle. There is a vessel there, so it wouldn't be unreasonable to try going through there, but normally the best thing is if you go um, under this triangular muscle here, and I'm just pushing with my fingers, and then you see the vessels are under there, like so. And, and you would expect to find a nerve, an artery, uh, and a vein. And we can see that quite nicely in there. Blunt finger dissection is often uh, the best way to do this, not only in the simulated setting, but in real life as well. So there we go, we've got our vessels with a simple maneuver like that. So what we need to do is to lift up this tissue here. Again, finger dissection is good. Create that space, separate that muscle off. believe that's the nerve. This would be the artery here and this is the vein next to it. So we're all good. We can now look at that under the microscope. In a separate video we've demonstrated how to pre prepare the chicken thigh but now I'm going to talk about how to use the microscope um, and some of the key principles. So um, if you just uh, look over here at the setup, um, obviously we have the microscope in position. We've got the fridge here, which is where we can store the chicken thighs. These chicken thighs um, can be frozen and defrosted and then prepared as we have done here. Over here, we've got the microwave, which can be used to defrost the chicken thighs. This is how it's set up. So switching it on is straightforward. You just uh, press the button here and it gradually warms up. It takes a few seconds for it to warm up. Um, in the meantime, it's important to get it positioned correctly. Um, if you release these two uh, components here, it can be moved into a comfortable position. When doing microsurgery, it's important to sit comfortably with both feet on the floor um, in theatre, you will always be considered a bit of a prima donna because you will want the right chair that you can control, uh, but it is important, so you must do that. Um, both feet on the floor, nice and straight, and what you do is you bring the microscope to your eyes, not your eyes to the microscope. So you want to be sitting in a nice comfortable position, a bit like, a bit like this. Okay. The microscope can then be locked in that position. So the microscope's now on. You need to adjust the interpupillary distance to whatever suits you. Controls here um, adjust the focus and the zoom. So I recommend when you're focusing, you zoom in fully, Z for zoom, F for focus. Zoom in fully all the way, and then focus fully zoomed in, and then you can pan back the microscope it's all warmed up now and you can change the intensity of the um, light if you press enter and then just put it up to a nice bright field and that's good you can also change the size of the brightness by adjusting this uh, knob at the back so probably the best thing is to have it nice and wide um, so you get a nice field there so that is by and large all set up obviously in your micro suture you need the instruments, forceps, some scissors, and a micro needle holder. This is a Tenno suture, uh, which uh, is, is a very good suture to use. This is a simulation device. 
that can be used for training and you can place the chicken thigh within this to create a more challenging microsurgical uh, environment. We are able to connect the microscope up to a projector. This cable here goes in there, it slots in, and that attaches up here to the projector that we fortunately have, and that will project onto the wall. So if I and as I was saying before, what we need to do is to zoom in and zoom out accordingly. Zoom all the way in, focus it, and then pan back out again to so look how nicely we can see the three structures there.